So you may be wondering, how does fashion evolve? No way. We caught ourselves a big in. Woo! <laughs> look at the size of this baby. Let's go have a look. Wow. Whoa. I look good. Woo! What we do here is go back, 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 back. outfit being worn was used to juxtapose the subject from those around him. Oh. Oh geez. The outfit being used is widely composed of modern fashion sins, like clunky heelys, ill-fitting dad jeans, and an unsettlingly tight shirt. <laughs> Let's look at some information now. What is fashion? Who dictates fashion? Why does fashion go in or out of style? What are the pros and cons of fashion? Let's find out. Fashion, a popular trend, especially in styles of dress and ornament or manners of behavior. Now moving on. There are steps in the process of something coming into fashion. Let's explore a few of these steps, why don't we? Number one, predicting the future. There's been a seismic shift in the world of fashion. Gone are the days when trends were always dictated by top design houses in Paris, London, Milan, or New York. Fashion forecasters now predict what will be trending years in advance, while celebrities and fashion bloggers, with millions of followers on social media, have increasing influence. With traditional hierarchy turned on its head, who is actually calling the shot? Number two, influencers. Although the originators of new collections are still the big fashion houses like Chanel or Dior, the power of the celebrity and blogger is in their online research. With followers often exceeding 50 million, their pervasive influence makes it easier than ever for a trend to pick up steam across the digital landscape. Number three, forecasters. Fashion forecasters are a network of fashion experts that predict trends years in advance. Number four, life cycle of a collection. With fashion, technology, and social media coming together like never before, it's not surprising the trends are changing faster than any other time in history. This is how the creative process generally works. The first step, trend forecasters. Data and cultural analysis predicts what will be fashionable up to 10 years into the future. Step number two, fashion houses. Data from trend forecasters and the creative flair of in-house designers are combined and a collection of 30 to 120 pieces is designed. Step number three, sample range, and a lookbook, produced by the fashion house and given to fashion buyers. Step number four, collections released twice a year, spring and summer and autumn and winter collections. Fashion weeks are held six months in advance of the season. Step number five, fashion buyers. A decision is made on whether to stock the range in stores. Step number six, fashion shows. Once private trade only events, these are now streamed live around the world with pieces available to buy directly from the catwalk. Step number seven, early adopters and online influencers. Fashion bloggers and celebrities have the power to make or break a fashion label or a new collection. Step number eight, fashion garment supply chain. 
The fabric is sourced, the garment is manufactured, and shipped to the customers or retail stores. Number 5. Fast Fashion Response Cycle, 14 to 22 days. Number 1. Catwalks or Celebrity. Number 2. Prototype and similar fabric. Number 3. Fabric located and textile shipped. Number 4. Garment manufacture. Number 5. Shipped to internet sales or shipped classic retail route. Number 6. Delivery distribution center. Number 7. Transport to stores. And number 8. Sales. Do you ever wonder why your baggy jeans and Heelys aren't considered cool anymore? Is it just because new entities come into style? Or because they become too popular? Maybe because it's no longer exclusive once everyone has it. Do people just lose interest after a while? There's no definite answer, but it's possible that it could be any one of these, or all of them combined. Let's weigh the pros and cons. Let's look at the pros. Fashion fuels consumerism, which is necessary for a healthy capitalistic economy. Fashion promotes individualism. Fashion is an outlet for creativity. Fashion can be a symbol of wealth, or it can be a symbol of relation to a socio-political or religious group. Fashion can be considered a form of art. Let's hear some claims arguing that fashion is harmful in one way or another. Fashion promotes an unhealthy amount of materialism and consumerism. Fashion can negatively affect the average person and the youth by fostering and promoting various forms of insecurities. Fashion is used as a display of wealth. Fashion is all about inequality. It's time for some interviews. My name is Jack Palin. I'm self-proclaimed fashion expert. Been wearing clothes since I was a baby. Wear clothes in the shower, wear clothes when I sleep. I think I have something to say with fashion. And you know what, today I look at all the fashionistas or, you know, uh, leaders in the fashion world and a lot of people are saying, Jack, I think they they over accessorize. But I just I don't see any point not over accessorizing. I myself have just over 3,600 watch, I guess 3,700 this past Christmas. My favorite fashion icon, I would say, in complete honest, George W. Bush had fantastic fashion sense, but you know, he was simple. He didn't go over, he did over accessorize, he wore a tie every day, and I think that was sort of pushing it in my opinion. But what is fashion? I guess fashion is, who is fa Fashion is actually an anagram. Freedom allowing shun, S-H-U-N. Some humans unlimited. Fashion is a art form you can wear on your body. But I think it's objective. I don't think there's any subjectivity about it. Here we go. Smell like cheese. Jack's interview sort of sucked. Let's see what the school really has to say about this. Hey, can I interview your class real quick? Can I interview your class? It'll take like two seconds. You're already in the interview, so I'll just go. Okay, how does style evolve? style evolves by what's going around people. Beautiful. I have the hard one for you. Thanks, Christopher. Okay. Who slash what influences what's considered in or out of fashion? Do you know what I was just thinking about this the other day because those stupid fidget spinners? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I, I would like to be one of the they that has to convince people because I think I would be very, very rich. Mm -hmm. But um, I don't know. The Kardashians? They seem to be really popular right Influencers? now. Influencers? Yeah, unfortunately. Okay, good answer. Cultural elites. The cultural elites. That's yes. It. Are you culturally relevant? <laughs> yeah. You can, you can go yes or no, or you can go any direction you want with this. Yeah. Is style subjective? Yes. Are there objective aspects of uh, style? Yes. Like what? Yeah, your interview's playing right before this, and right before I walked in, I said that uh, your opinion was superior. Jack's interview sort of sucked. 
and that these don't really matter, but we're just getting them anyway, so. I dressed up just in so a you ridiculous know. garb and I went on there. Aren't they useless? They're not dead. I like how you just knew me down there. Dude. <laughs> See you guys. Thank you. All right, we have a fellow Healy advocate here. What kind of Healy's do you have? Uh, they're pink and black. Do you they're like pretty, Healy's? They're, yeah, they're pretty sweet. I agree. Let's see how people react. Why not? This guy trying to race? Nope. He's trying to race me. Oh, I'm being there. Hello, can I just have a chicken sandwich? One fifty three, thank you, sir. I cracked my screen. I just cracked my screen. Look at that crack. Wow. Uh, you got her pretty good, dude. All right, now show me the wrist. Yeah. So what happens when you're hardcore healing? It's just bound to happen. What if I'm better than all these kids? Everyone looking at me for it. <laughs> How you doing? Yeah, I came to skate. Oh, yeah. I'm just trying to fit in. Oh, yeah. Kids are closers, man. Suck. Our goal was to analyze the concept of fashion and bring to light both sides of the argument. Please tell us what you think about fashion in the comments section down below. And thanks for watching.
watch the documentary, Chris and Jack. This documentary is completely on point, 100% accurate. All the statistics add up. I crunched the numbers, I crunched them again, um, and they add up every time. So I, uh, I looked at it and this is a sort of stamp of approval from me, the fashion expert, that this documentary is real stuff. Thanks. No, I'm like, I'm just like getting a video of me healing down this wall. Like, aren't you proud of yourself for doing this? Why are you wearing that? Get to play organized sports or jealous of it. You gotta be cool. I mean, you have to have these if you want to 